What's up guys, Matt Farah here. We're at Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch in Pahrump, Nevada, where our friends at VF Engineering were kind enough to drop off a fleet of supercharged sports cars. That's right, every single car down there has got a blower strapped on it, and if you add it all up, 4,000 horsepower. Now I see a couple of cars down there that are absolute must drives, and we're gonna do just that today on The Smoking Tire. VF Engineering invited us out to Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch. I didn't know they were going to bring everything. From BMW M3s, Audis, Porsches, and even a Spyker, VF supercharged them all and gave them all more than enough power to scare the hell out of your average poker player. Every opportunity to get behind the wheel of a Porsche is a good opportunity. So here we are. Starts out as a 997 Carrera S. 355 horsepower flat six, it's a 3.8 liter engine. And then VF Engineering adds a Vortex supercharger pushing six pounds of boost, which brings up the grand total to, are you waiting? 510 horsepower in a rear wheel drive Porsche. It's faster than a GT3 faster than a 997 Turbo, and the best part is, it looks like a regular old Carrera S. Amazing. Now one of the biggest problems with the Carrera and the non-turbo versions is its relative lack of power. An $80,000 car with only 355 horsepower, not a whole lot of bang for your buck there, even if the rest of the car is very good. So the addition of the supercharger really helps the bang for your buck factor there by making this Carrera S faster than a turbo and less expensive. Like the other VF engineering cars, the best thing about this car is that it doesn't feel like a tuner car. It doesn't feel like you've done something strange to the motor and it behaves weird all of a sudden. It feels just like a regular Carrera, except when you hit the fun pedal, it gets way, way more fun. The power band is really interesting in this car because usually with a supercharger you find that you get a lot more mid-range power, but the truth is in this car, the real big power increases happen over 6,000 RPM where all of a sudden a surge of power comes on. It's really impressive. I've never even actually seen a supercharged 911 before, but you gotta admire VF Engineering for taking something that most people would consider perfect and really improving upon it without compromising it in any way. Porsches have such a unique engine sound. At low RPM, they sound rough, but at high RPM, it all comes together so well, and it's such a unique sound, totally unmistakable. I mean, you can't hear this car on a track and think this is anything but a 911. In fact, you really don't hear the supercharger at all. Unlike some of the other supercharged cars we've driven that have a lot of whine, which I like, this sounds exactly like a stock 911, and with the exception of an aftermarket exhaust and headers, is stock. There's nothing else on it. And what's really nice about VF Engineering is that they manage to have supercharger kits designed to work with stock cars. They don't need extra internals. It's not a ton of boost. They're manageable, and they retain a stock feel just faster. How do you not love that? As fun as this car is, there's a whole other selection of cars for us to choose from. So what do you say we drive the 620 horsepower wide body M3? VF Engineering BMW E92 M3 with the VF620 package on it. And just like it sounds, that means 620 horsepower from the supercharged V8. This car is fucking 
fast. <laughs> That's, there, I could start and end the review with that one statement. This car is ridiculously fast. Start with a 414 horsepower bone stock M3. And then add the following. One Vortex supercharger, one custom intake manifold, one air to water intercooler, a tune, and a Vorsteiner exhaust, and you get 620 horsepower on pump gas. Now we haven't actually measured in terms of numbers the performance of this car, but I'm telling you, it is staggeringly good. Listen to that, wow. It, it absolutely goes, goes, goes. This obviously doesn't look anything like a stock M3, and there's a very good reason for that. It has a full Vorsteiner wide body kit made of carbon fiber with 11 inch front tires and 13 inch rear tires. The front tires are 285s and the back are 325s. The overall package is absolutely mind-bendingly impressive. I'm an okay driver, but I'm not a pro. This car is unbelievably easy to drive fast. In the hands of a proper driver, and with stability control turned off, you can do this. So how much boost is it running? Only about six pounds actually, not so much boost. These kind of engines, these V8s, don't need a ton of boost to make a ton of power. The Vorsteiner exhaust has a really nice sound. It's not so loud that you can't have a conversation in the car, but certainly loud enough that you know exactly what kind of power this thing is pushing out. And just, just look at it. Oh my God. Really easy to put so much power in a car that you can overdrive the chassis. The good news is they make aftermarket stuff for that. So this car has Vorsteiner wheels, Brembo big brakes all around, and KW coilovers, which are height adjustable. For instance, if you have a car show, you can lower it. If you want to come to the track and run it, you can raise it up a little bit. Right now, it's sitting at about stock ride height, maybe a half inch lower. That was 130. Well, they are really going to have to drag me out of this car. I got three quarters of a tank of gas, plenty of tire, and air conditioning. So I may just go round and round Spring Mountain all day long, but I'll leave you guys with one thought about this M3. VF Engineering took an already phenomenal world-class sports car and turned it into the fastest, meanest, best driving, and best looking M3 ever. And that's all there is to say. Two amazing yet totally different cars on the same track on the same day. What can we conclude? Well, the wide body M3 is, in a word, completely batshit insane. 620 horsepower and so much grip that our professional stunt driver told us it was just as grippy as the R8 in the corners, and that car has all-wheel drive. The Porsche, on the other hand, extraordinarily fast, very lightweight, but tricky to drive at the limit. It could easily get away from you. Whereas the M3 is so easy to drive fast, amateurs might find themselves in trouble. Fortunately, it's still in one piece. We've had fun here today. I'd like to thank my friends at VF Engineering for inviting us out to drive this metal. And you can check out my mini reviews of all those other cars in the beginning of the show at vfengineering.com. I'm Matt Farah, and I will see you guys next week. Last year, the smoking tire went on the Bull Run Live Rally in the 2010 Ford SVT Raptor. I liked it so much, I bought one, and here it is. But we're going back to Bull Run this year, of course, with help from our friends at Black Magic, and we're so serious about it, we got two Valentine 1 radar detectors. Oh yeah. So we're all set up, and the reason we got two is because we're gonna be going a little bit faster. We got a 2011 Shelby GT500 with a 550 horsepower, all aluminum V8. We are gonna be right in the action, bringing you guys a video every single day, live from the Bull Run Rally, July 9th to 16th. And the only place to watch it is on blackmagicshine.com or right here on the Smoking Tire.